Okay, you guys, so I got asked how I make my zucchini chips today. So I'm just gonna show you. Super, super simple. So you're gonna, obviously this one zucchini. Oil, you can use any type of oil if you wanna do olive, avocado, whatever. I'm using grapeseed oil. That's just because that's what I have. No particular reason. I really like using grapeseed oil, but that's, there's no like special reason that I'm using that. Minced garlic, you need a bowl. And if you have an air fryer, this is how I'm gonna show you today is by using the air fryer. So really, I just, this is so easy, you guys. I just chop up, just slice up um, my zucchini. It doesn't have to be, like, I, it doesn't have to be super thin. Some of them are thicker, some of them are thinner. It, it just is whatever you like. Um, zucchini has a lot of water in it, so sometimes when you're putting it into the air fryer, if they are a little bit thick, then it will take a little bit longer, but that's okay. Oops. Okay, so I'm gonna throw, take the zucchini here, throw it into a bowl, Okay, or take every little piece at a time. Put my cutting board away. Okay, I'm gonna take one. I love garlic, so we use a lot of garlic just because we like it. So I'm gonna take one heaping spoonful and put it in there. If you don't like garlic, then don't use it. It's not that big of a deal. Then I'm gonna measure out, shoot my tablespoon of oil just put a tablespoon of oil in into the bowl now you can add um salt and pepper to this i just i add mine after but you can do it however you want spray um, cooking oil and I imagine that you can I just haven't so this is what it looks like right now like everything's pretty evenly coated all I'm gonna do open up my air fryer dump them in get as much garlic as I can out of the bowl okay ours just has a french fry button so that's what I push I just push on it sets it to I think it's 350 this thing is messed up but um when I set it to the french fry setting it automatically okay I like it automatically sets it to 400 for 18 minutes now if you just set it and forget it you're gonna have some really crispy burnt it's not going to be even it's not going to be good so what i have learned to do is i um, have it in there for about five minutes then i just pull it out kind of shake things around see where everything is put it back in and it will automatically set it for the rest of the time so i do that like every five minutes if i notice at like 12 minutes that it's getting close to where i want it then i'll just kind of babysit it and come a little bit closer and just pay more attention to it but um i will show you well i've shown you before what it looks like after but they are delicious and then you can just season it um sometimes i've done lemon pepper um sometimes i've done the salad supreme seasoning and then other times i just put salt and pepper on it and you're good to go and a whole zucchini if you go to put that into your my fitness pal so you want to make sure you put if you eat this by yourself which i will i'll eat a whole zucchini by myself you want to make sure that you're putting into your my fitness pal one tablespoon of oil one tablespoon of garlic and a whole zucchini so that you have an accurate an accurate amount you're probably I mean you're not literally having a full tablespoon but you know you get the point so I hope that helps you and until your next tip if you guys have more questions or more things that you really just want to know like the easy how to that's what I'm all about just super easy 
ways to eat healthy and have things taste delicious. So I love you guys. If you have questions, post a comment. Um, I will start making videos based on what you're asking me for help with. So because my, my goal is to just empower you and help you. So. Mwah.